I don't, I don't know what to say. I really don't. So, as the title down below would have suggested, I am reviewing the newest Walking Dead episode. Now, I have been reviewing Walking Dead episodes for years. Uh, started on my Instagram, and then I moved on to here. And um, I try and do the beginning, the mid-season finale, and the finale. I try to review those. If not, I review some other. Um, I review them or more, as it were. But I don't know how long that's going to continue because I was so looking forward to this newest episode because the beginning of last season was slow, then it got better after the mid-season finale, and then the finale was amazing. So I had I had high hopes for this this uh, episode. No, no, it didn't it didn't go well at all. I spent 59 because it was a 59 minute one rather than a 45 minute one and i spent 59 minutes bored out of my skull i it would uh, it was like watching anna karenina all over again but with zombies it was just so boring but anyway so that's going to give you a theme <laughs> or a sort of sense to what my review is it, it, this does have spoilers by the way guys so warning spoilers um but yeah, so let's just get right on into the video. I mean, for starters, the opening sequence was so young adult dystopian, like, book opening sequence. But don't get me wrong, I love those to pieces and I love YA, I love dystopian genres. But when I'm watching The Walking Dead, I don't expect it to be like that i mean i don't know how they would have opened it any differently i mean they could have it was just very light and fluffy at the beginning which is good and that's a nice change from the usual doom and gloom and death and gore but like i don't know it just didn't seem to be fitting with with the theme of the walking dead and i get it the the title was a new beginning um everything sort of changed a little bit and yeah so i get that they're trying to make a new brand but it's like you can't just go from eight years of blood, guts, gore, death and all that, which there was still in this episode, but you can't go from that to be all like light-hearted and fluffy. Don't worry, further into the episode they did, they did get more Walking Dead-ish. So basically we're trying to get a feel for the new dynamic, obviously with Negan gone, which he doesn't appear at any point in this episode and I was just, I was sat there waiting for him and I'm just like, where's the only interesting character left okay is he gone we know he didn't, rick didn't kill him so where is he but yeah so we're getting the new dynamic for like the hilltop um the savior's old um factory and then obviously alexandria and it's it's sort of working and rick's like this war hero and everyone knows his name and that's like a little running joke thing throughout the um episode which that's a bit cute and him and michonne are still going strong that's great but yeah as i said we're trying to learn the new dynamic for things and it's a lot of radioing uh, a lot of horseback riding and obviously they keep going into the cities for supplies which one thing to notice is there are a lot less walkers in the city in this season so that that could indicate that the walkers are dying out or just that that particular city because they live near it is being purged of walkers as it were but now i'm hoping it's sort of it's the first one because i am a fan of the walking dead i enjoy it immensely but they it's it's one of these ones that has been dragging out for far too long they're running out of ideas so i think it's time to like put it to bed very soon but the problem is is it's huge so it's gonna take a while for it to die the new title sequence uh still the same music but um i love the sketch like the sketch style of it it was very if i didn't know what i was watching i'd actually think i was watching like a medieval or like a sorcerer magic tv show something like the vampire diaries or something although their title sequences were very very short but no and then obviously you do see the walkers further into the title sequence but i enjoyed that the title sequence was very very good another thing to do with the title is that in 
we watched throughout all the seasons as the Walking Dead title got grimier, <laughs> get it, Rick Grimes, bloodier, dirtier, and it just kept decaying basically like a walker um, all throughout the seasons. And then now suddenly, bam, it looks like it's made of stone with like this green moss. So it's like a whole new Garden of Eden feel to it. So that was, that was interesting to know. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can't remember who most of these people are. Uh, I, I, I know obviously the main people and then I forget how we meet certain people and then I, just, I, was, I was a bit confused, not gonna lie. The Carol and King Ezekiel dynamic, that has been, that, that was obvious, there was no shock there. But what was quite shocking is that he proposed, okay, we have suddenly jumped from they're not even together to will you marry me because he nearly dies, okay, and I'm just sat there like, okay, where did that, it just seems so out of the blue. Obviously, we saw that King Ezekiel really fancied her, really fancied Carol. <coughs> in the last couple of seasons and that was cute that was that was great and we knew they were gonna end up together that's great but don't just go from not even in the only way we knew they were together is because when he nearly died carol kissed him which was okay so that's our hint and then literally five seconds later like the next scene pretty much he's proposing to her and she's and she's saying i told you not to tell me that and stuff like that. so so not only is he not just proposing then he's proposed before and it's like you can't just go from zero to 100 that quickly okay this is not a disney film speaking of carol i have been watching i i was i think i was four seasons behind when i started watching the walking dead because i was too young to start watching it when it came out like it was obviously mature blah 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 i have been watching it for a very long time and obviously i caught up so i have seen every episode and I still cannot tell you where the Daryl and Carol ship came from. I, d I don't get it. I, I re <laughs> There's a hair hanging from my shelf and I thought it was a spider and I just nearly crapped myself. Anyway, yeah, I can't um, tell you where that came from. I don't, I can't give you an episode where it first started, just I know throughout The Walking Dead people have shipped them together and I know in the prison they got closer and they're mates, but like, you don't really see them interact that much if you want to like, really put a microscope over it. And then he, and then he's like saying, oh I do miss seeing you though, and I'm like, oh my god, you're just trying to give the shippers like, more fuel to the fire, and it's like, is she with Ezekiel, is she with Daryl, but we don't, the thing is, Obviously the whole point of The Walking Dead originally was it's a new zombie dystopian TV show that's great and it was amazing. First season will always be my favourite season. They're not very good at setting up relationships. The Rick and Michonne one, that was a it was sort it was a very, very slow burn, but still it just sort of happened. And it was like, yes, yeah, she was like his right hand woman next to Daryl, and it, but it was, there was no like little romantic moments to lead up to it. It just sort of bam happened and a like with Ezekiel and Carol, that we sort of saw how he looked at her, how he acted around her. That was a slow burn, although I would have liked to have seen like how they went from that to that. But the Daryl and Carol thing, there was no, I, it just happened. And now we're just really getting like really emotional into it. I'm like, where did this come from? The one death that really annoyed me during this whole, like there wasn't actually that many deaths. I mean, they're probably leading up to it is the first episode. But the dude just wanted to save his damn horse, and they won't let him. Well, the horse did survive, but the dude died saving his horse, and that's just emotional. Okay, that was really upsetting. Save the damn horse. And obviously, his death. Um, Maggie had to tell the um, parents back at um, Hilltop. And I think it's the first, the first proper time we've seen in the in the whole show where families actually grieve for their loved ones and then like obviously we've seen a couple of like um revenges revenge plots a couple of people lashing out but we never see like proper grieving and stuff like that unless it's between the main group so that was that was, that was a bit different probably just had to fill the space for 59 minutes per usual daryl is rick's right hand man he's running the factory where the saviors used to be he's not very happy about it yeah, that's, that, 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 that's literally about all that Daryl, he, he enjoys killing walkers outside and he doesn't want to run the factory anymore. Instead, it's moved on to Carol. That is literally all I know. And lastly, Maggie. Now, I loved Maggie before everything happened. I loved Maggie and Glenn together, RIP Glenn. And she would, but I don't know. 
usually, and this is just one of the tropes I don't like, it's when they make... It's when, it's when characters get pregnant and then obviously they've got to be molly coddled and stuff like that so that was during the previous seasons and she didn't well she was molly coddled but like she she still did stuff while she was pregnant but it was always like focusing on the pregnancy and i was like okay i never really liked that in characters in survival in survival like tv shows and films i never really liked that but i mean i suppose they've got to do something but it was during the whole, obviously she wants to get revenge for Glenn's death because Negan killed him and then the ending of that one she went a bit hysterical but her moral compass is very sketchy right now and I don't know, I mean I, I didn't really like her last season, I don't she just annoyed me and now this season I have a feeling she's going to be a very prominent character and she's going to be very interesting because she's starting to get like a ruthless leader and she even said to Rick, um, you told them that one day they'd follow me and then they didn't because I wasn't someone who knew, I wasn't someone they could follow. But now I am, and I'm just like, oh my god, Maggie's a leader. No, thank you. I'm just, I'm already done. And Rick, I did. and then the thing is, Rick was in this episode, but I didn't think Andrew Lincoln was gonna be in this season. So I am a bit confused. I reckon in the next episode or the episode after that, they're gonna kill him off or something. Maybe Maggie will kill him. Who knows? It's just, it's sort of the same stuff over and over again. You get, oh, you've got someone rising up against Rick and his group, Rick and his group end up killing them. There's trials, there's tribulations, there you go. There's not much, uh, as I was saying, I don't think there's much else they can actually do, like, for this show. I think they're just gonna need to either end out of that. They should end it this season, but I don't think they're going to. They just need to end where either everyone dies, everyone lives happily ever after, or there's a cure. Like, when I say happily ever after, just live, um, they're happy, but there's walkers, like, there's no more, there's no more bloody, attacks and stuff like that or they, they find a cure for walkers and then they all live happily ever after that way it's just I d it's just it's a lot i don't and I'm, I, don't, I don't even know if i'm gonna finish this season it depends i might double check if they've actually got a finish date for this show because i don't think i can handle 45 minutes a week of I literally guys i was so so bored it's just the same over and over again and i you know what i do even think I don't know if it's just because Negan's not in it this season or what. Well, I don't know if he's not in it this season. He just wasn't in the first episode. It's like, you think you'd see something. There's mention of him obviously being locked up and people want him to suffer and stuff like that. But I'm just like, well, where is he? Okay, where is my Jeffrey Dean Morgan? I di I, I, I'm, he's the only interesting character there is at the moment. That has been me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below. It would be greatly appreciated. All of my social media will be linked down below. Go and check all those out and follow me on there. I am always on there. Hit the big red subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed to my internet family already. We are a great big laugh. There should be a bell next to the subscribe button. Hit that so you can be notified of when I do upload. And comment down below if you've seen the newest Walking Dead episode and what you thought about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.